hold on, paused, we haven't been able to gather the, the you know, the data and been able to wash it through, as you know. So the only one that we're really um, plugged into there that would be to the forefront of everyone's minds is COVID with RAD or Head of Medical, but also um, we're plugged into multiple universities. UL would probably be the most prominent one with the concussion um, they're doing a research into head injuries and so forth. That's informing us on our game and our safety of it. Uh, but we're across other areas such as participation, drop in and out. That came from the Peter Lund, the RSI, um, keeping them in the game many years ago. We're, 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 we're constantly on that. So unfortunately, because rugby isn't being played or any sport is being played, they're kind of paused for now. But um we're good in that space, but we want to get better in that space. Benny, is that okay? We're, yeah. we're, we're, we're probably not where we want to be because of many things that would have been in the wheelbarrow um, before that. Whereas now we're realizing, you know, um, really partnering with educational environments that will, you know, institutes that will help us have better evidence-based uh, will be a massive help, you know, in going forward. So uh, yes, and more to do in that space. Yeah. Um, can you tell me, and you touched on a, a few bits of work, historical work there by Sport Ireland, the, the Pete Lund report, <laughs> the, the keeping him in the game. Um, can you? T- I, I, do you have a, an awareness of Sport Ireland's research and evaluation work? Do you, do you know what kind of work we do in that space? I suppose myself and Colin looked at that uh, very much, Benny, in advance of the call as well. And we, I'm only I came into the job on the 29th of January 2020, and COVID came along six eight weeks later. Colin was in the job, I think, two three months ahead of me. So I hope you appreciate. We came from the very much um, from the on pitch, um, you know, around the whole playing of the game, professional game and came into this space. So we're learning on the job as well. So what we what I would have known and Colly, Colin, Colin McEntee would have been very much of the research that is constantly coming through the Get Ireland Act of the Healthy Ireland. <clears throat> I would have had an intimate connection with all the LSPs within Munster in my time in Munster and Colly with his time within Leinster. So I would have very much seen words from what we were saying in documents together, Sport Ireland and Governing Body are a few to actually turning them into lived behaviours and actions on the ground in, in relationship with the LSPs and the local rugby club and the club school link. So I hope um, I'm, I'm being brave enough to share with you, Benny. It's a space that Kali and I want to become better informed on and educated through yourself, maybe, and your and your colleagues there. Um, is that OK to share? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No. And um, it's a it's a genuine question because, you know, these are, yeah. are, are things that are of genuine, genuine interest to us. It's not it's not trying to catch you for anything. Or, no, um, no. And I suppose. I suppose what I would love to say there, Benny, is I, we're putting our hand up to say we only know what we know, but we want to become better informed and educated as a governing body to represent that shared, that that shared, um, I don't know what other word than we're better together in, in trying to. In, so the women's and girls teenager dropout report she published recently, we were just, that was so impressive and it really doved tail into our narrative in our women's you know, rugby action plan that we put together with yourselves and you know you're giving us funding through uh to put, to get more teenage girls playing and staying in, in rugby so it really shows that what we're doing without us actually being together hip to hip shoulder to shoulder as much as we'd like to be we're still as sporting organizations very connected if you understand there is kind of a silver thread that's that's emerging that we're all trying to actually pull together you know um so the women's and girls teenagers. What you know of Sport Ireland's research? Sorry. Say that again. Um, so from from what you know of our of our research, I mean you I mean you you do have an awareness. You've touched on some 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 mm-hmm. good, um, publications that we've made. Yeah. Um, would you would you would you describe some strengths and weaknesses from what you've seen in, in what we've published? Do you, um, do you have a perception on that or an opinion on that? No, well, we we. And, and again, Benny, my, mine would be from on the ground, locally, regionally, provincially, and now coming into the national role. And we would have leaned on our fellow work colleagues who've been in the national role for, for, for a sustained period. 
And I suppose the blind spot on all of us is like everything is is communication is always the key that people.